Hi everybody. This is a 2016 Bad Boy Mower with a 60 inch deck. And we put one of our turf stripers on it. I wanna show you how it works. Hey, this is Carrie from Harrison Specialties. One of the most common questions I get is, uh, whoop, sorry for the fingers there. How can a striper roller that's shorter than the tires like this one is, I don't know if we can see it in there. I'm gonna get right down in here. See how that does not extend all the way to the tires on the inside? There it is on both sides. So the question is, how can a striper like that make a good stripe? Well, of course, the wheels stripe, and obviously the roller does as well, but what about that gap? So I say, time to make a video and show you what it does. Gonna hop in the golf cart here. This is my lawn, I just finished mowing it. I mow it at three and a half inches. And I got this striper adjusted so that it's running right on the ground. So here's the stripes. I've sold a lot of these rollers and I have yet to have a complaint from anyone that that gap between the end of the roller and the wheels is a problem. And you can see these stripes here, you cannot see that. So I guess the way, just the way grass kind of works, it all rolls down together. Makes one nice wide stripe. Used to be that we made the stripers almost full width, but the manufacturers moved the wheels so close to the mower decks that you can't get a striper between the deck and the uh, wheels anymore. So since 2010, We've had to make these short stripers for the Toros, X Marks, and John Deere's, and now this bad boy. And you can see here what I'm talking about. There's just no way. There's just no way to get that roller in there. It's way too tight. And it turns out you don't need to. So there you go. If you have any other questions or you want to have a look at the striper for this bad boy or any other check out our website harrisonspecialties.com or send an email with questions thanks for watching